Well, we have another question here that says, uh, uh, given the quadratic sequence 0, 17, 32, determine the expression of uh, the general term Tn of uh, the quadratic sequence. Okay. It's question 3.1. Okay. It is already said that this is a quadratic sequence. And then uh, question 3.1, we are looking for Tn, okay? The general form of the quadratic sequence. Now, uh, because this is a quadratic sequence, we know it is given by Tn equal to An squared plus Bn plus C. That's a quadratic sequence. Where um, A, for instance, is equal to uh, the second difference over two, okay? And then, and then we know that 3A, uh, plus p equal to the difference between the first and the the second and the first term, and then uh, a plus b plus c equal to the first term itself. Now uh, we do have like zero seventeen thirty two. We can work out the second difference. Okay, we are gonna do a seventeen minus zero, and then thirty two minus. Minus 17, so we have like 17 minus 0 is 17, 32 minus 17, this is equal to 15. If you're unsure, you can check in the calculator, do uh, 32 minus 17, and then you get uh, 15. And then uh, we want to do also the difference between that, that, that was D1, the first difference, and now uh, the difference between this max makes uh, D2, the second difference, which is equal to 2, uh, negative 2, I mean. Now, A being equal to D2 over 2, on the root here A, which is D2 over 2, this means that A2 will be a negative 2 over 2, which means uh, A equal to negative 1. Now we've got the value of A. And then we also know that 3A plus B plus uh, equal to the difference between T2 and T1 can sub in the values of uh, A, there and then the t2 minus t1 we we just got it over here that's t2 minus t1 because okay this was uh the first term that the second term t2 and then the difference is uh 17 here now this will be uh 17 and then a we did find the previous the previous line uh previous line over here so we got like a is negative one now this will be uh, negative 3 plus b equal to 17. If I move, okay, the negative 3 over, okay, we will have like b will be equal to 17 plus 3, and then b will be equal to 20. Now that we got the value of b, we also need to find uh, c. So what is c? Um, um, can just move this a little bit up there. Uh, if I move this way, uh, we have like A plus B plus C equal to T1. So we have like A plus B plus C equal to T1. So we sum in the values of A, which is, uh, uh, because I'm using this formula. So A is uh, negative 1, B is 20 plus C equal to T1. T1 uh, is uh, the first term, which is 0. We can see it's over here, that's T1. Now this makes uh, uh, negative one plus 20 plus C equal to zero. And then um, that makes uh, 19 plus C equal to zero, which means C equal to negative 19. Therefore, then the quadratic uh, sequence will be Tn equal to, the first thing is negative one, so just negative N squared plus, let me just do it, uh, I'll do, okay, I'll leave it there, no, I prefer to do it, um, let me see, I want to see, that therefore, uh, Tn will be Na, which is negative 1, so negative n squared, plus b, which is 20n, 
minus C, which is uh, uh, plus C, which is negative 19. Okay, and then, uh, so that's the answer. Thank you. Well, uh, I'm gonna move, let's see. The following question says what? Uh, question 3.2. Uh, it says, uh, which term in the uh, quadratic sequence have a value of 56? Now, let's first move this like that. So, I'm looking for a certain term right here, 3.2. Looking for a certain term Tn, okay, which is uh, which has a value of, uh, of uh, 56. Actually, it simply means we're looking for n. Okay, now I'm gonna use the quadratic formula that I calculated earlier and then equate it to 56. So this will be a negative n squared plus 20n minus 19 equal to 56. And if I move the negative 19 over, okay, no, I move the 56 over. So that would be a minus 56 equal to zero. And that makes negative n squared plus 20. 20n, and then this will be uh, uh, negative uh, 70, 75. Let me double check. Uh, uh, if I do uh, negative 19 minus 56, yes, negative 75 equal to zero. Now um, we can times the whole equation by negative one. Okay, if I times here by negative one, and then we'll get uh, n squared plus 20, actually negative 20. Negative 20n minus plus 75 now equal to zero because zero times negative one is still zero. And then um, let's see if we can factorize over here. So I'm gonna look at the last term, 75, okay? The factors of 75 are one and 75, uh, three and um, 15, no, not 15, but uh, three and 25, uh, five and 15, uh, six, no, not six, seven, no, eight, no, 10, no, but 50. Okay, yes, those are the factors of, uh, of 75. Okay, because we have n here, all I can write is like n in the bracket like this, and then notice that which, which couple we make uh, 20, so with uh, negative five and negative 15, we can get negative 20. So you can just write here negative five and then negative 15. And then uh, this will be n equal to five or n equal to 15. Then, uh, if I, I missed the oh, I can't. 